Okay guys, say hello to Gene and let me know how the audio is on your end, uh, folks. Hey everybody. Think it went good. Oh, it's a bit of a delay. I, yeah, I see you made it to uh, Lake Quarry. Yeah, I loved it. I made it here yesterday. And um, it's, it's what I love, first of all, is that you can. Oh, look at that, we got first fish. Is how clear the water is. That is just unbelievable. Yeah, it's uh, basically we made it out of uh, a mountain lake. The yeah. water is beautiful. Yeah. You'll have fun here. Uh, you can see a uh, fish attacking a lure. Yeah. Or just coming to it, taking a look at it. Mm -hmm. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool, Akel. Okay. okay. Yeah, I uh, I really love it. I also love it, in particular when you're float fishing. You can just see the fish move up towards it. You can do um, sightsee fishing, so to say. Yeah. That was uh, was pretty cool. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I indeed I increased Gene's volume a bit, so he should be uh, good right now for you guys as well. And uh, not an issue though. Yeah, I cranked up his volume, so it should be like similar to me now as well. Okay guys, feel free to fire your questions away. And as always, please be gentle. <laughs> 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 okay, yeah, it is better uh, now. Good, good. Uh, so Jim, what awesome. have you guys been up to lately? With Russian Fishing 4? Uh, well, the usual uh, fixing some mistakes uh, trying to uh, uh, balance out hooks yeah what else did we do uh, we put out a we changed uh, a couple of days ago last patch uh, we changed uh, mm, tackle uh, uh, how it was used uh, from uh, linear to uh, progressive, so basically uh, a light fish doesn't damage your tackle as much as it used to. Yeah. But uh, heavier fish, well, compare once again compared to your tackle, uh, will 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 put us more significant damage uh, uh, to it. Okay, and but, the hooks but that we're still balancing. Right? out I'm sorry sorry yeah um the hooks that you said earlier you did some tweaking to the hooks what was that as um, exactly oh, we, we're still uh, we're still in the process of uh, balancing it out uh, what we want to achieve is actually uh, uh, make sure that small fish will not bite on larger hooks as often as it does right now yeah. Uh, so basically, you will be able to um, cut it out. Well, not the hundred percent, but most of it yeah. from uh, biting. If you wish to uh, go after a larger species, it it it, it should help you. <clears throat> Plus, we uh, added uh, basically we made uh, the uh, ground baits uh, stronger. Okay. Well, that That's is good about thing. it. For now. <laughs> yeah. We got the first question coming in from uh, Ian. Will the game be translated into Polish language? Uh, eventually, yes. We are, as, as you know, we're working on English and German translations right now. Yeah. Yeah. I know that we can probably show a couple of uh, things that we've done already. Mm -hmm. uh, once we're done with that, uh, we'll start moving uh, forward with the other languages. Yeah. And the water, Frank, thank you uh, so much for subscribing, mate. Sorry, now, let me quickly highlight that. Sleepy, could you do that for everyone who subs? Cheers, buddy. 
Yeah, um, indeed about the English translation. Shall we uh, show the guys how uh, how that is going? Yeah, of course. <laughs> <coughs> Give me a moment. And I'm sure it's, it'll be pretty useful for everybody who is trying to play it and yep. <laughs> that doesn't understand Russian. Uh, lady, uh, I, I hear myself really, really loud. <laughs> Out loud. Yeah, hang on, give me a moment. Uh, Perch, uh, it depends on uh, what you mix in for which fish. Yes, you can. Uh, probably I'll, I'll use the wrong word, but I'm sure you want to disattract uh, the fish with ground bait. Certain fish, let's say if you were. Uh, uh, mixing up, trying to catch, uh, let's say, bream, but you made a wrong mix, you can disattract a uh, bream and let's say a carp will move in into that spot. Uh, for how long? It depends on uh, on the ground bait that you made, how long it will last. Uh, it, uh, if you look at it in the backpack, it says for, uh, like 8 hours, 12 hours, 24 hours. Can you speak up a bit again, Gene, and I can check if uh, these settings work better. Oh, hang on. No, not on my end. Let's see, this should be better again. Can you speak up again, Jean? Um, now the mic is not picking you up. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Why did it when it does that? And that needs to be... That one again. How about now? Sorry guys for uh, this trouble. Uh, it set up for me the banana, but it is not doing what it is supposed to do. <laughs> that. <laughs> uh, that's something I've been working on the entire time but for some reason it's just not doing it yeah indeed audio issues are definitely always the worst to solve okay let's see let me put him on that one and uh, so that is my oh. mic yeah. i'll let you there for a second i guess uh how about now yeah, yeah now i hear you but like you weren't even here <laughs> Yeah, well, I can see that my mic is sparking whenever you're talking. How about now? Yeah, I hear you. And I and don't hear, hear myself. It's awesome. 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 Actually, I, I, Actually, can, I can, yes. can, yes. It's, it's coming, back. coming back. Okay, I'm putting this a bit harder. How about now? One, two, three. Uh, you're still very loud. Okay. Uh, that's just that's me. Just me. Being me. <laughs> uh, Eric, uh, are we live? Do, do yeah, guys we hear are. Us? Yeah. Okay, while well, you're fixing that thing, audio, I'll keep on answering questions from the chat. Uh, Eric, uh, no, it doesn't anymore. We had it. And <laughs> we stopped uh, in close beta. I told Lady that story when we were running around like crazy kids. Uh, we were throwing ground beats at each other's feet. <laughs> so no, uh, your ground beat only affects you, not the other players.
Yeah, sound check indeed. When is the German yeah, translation coming? About. And done. Hoping <clears throat> to have it ready for open testing. Sometime, hope or sometimes mid September. Um. Better now since what Sleepy says, Agra is gone. Okay, Sleepy. Um, no, it's not better now. It's mm, now. Lady, I don't know if you can hear me, but I, uh, I can't hear you at all. Yeah. Uh, put this one in. Give me one moment, uh, guys. Oh, this is so not That's what I had planned. It's alright. Not in a rush. Okay, let's see that one. There. Quick, give me a second here, folks. Little fish, thank you so much for the follow. Much appreciated. We are working a bit on audio problems, which is a bit annoying. It happens. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Q Nation started until now, anyways. <laughs> yep. We still have uh, four, three, two <laughs> seconds left. <laughs> Let's see, this one should be cable input, that one should be aux output. Safe. Okay. I'm not sure how it is on your end, but on my end it's actually pretty good now. <laughs> Adam, I have to hear my annoying voice. And now I do again. <laughs> yeah, I I promise you I'll fix it after the stream. Okay. No problem, no problem. Okay. Um we were into answering a couple of questions while I was looking up new images for you guys to see and those are uh, uh, Baya asks will there also be a Dutch translation uh, uh, I guess we, I can, guess we can come back to that question a little bit later <laughs> we have a couple of news today, right? <laughs> well, it's pretty hard not to be excited when uh, you're streaming with Lady. <laughs> Let's see. Let me grab this. Now we can open this. Uh, go to the second screen. Please, please pick it up. Yes, there we go. Okay, guys. So these are the images of uh, translations that are done to the settings menu. And they are almost fixed. Uh, almost uh, done completely. So this is audio. So you got general audio, video and control and um, volume, general, music, background and effects. Go to the second, so here we got general, I should have done that the other way around. Uh, but so here, what language to set, this is actually if you want to put the tutorial on or off. Uh, the widgets uh, shows you tooltips, time and weather, uh, feeder indicator, shows core indicator, compass, uh, the player level and player parameters. And then over here we got chat notifications, uh, location records, absolute records, so uh, the best catches of all times. Um, your catch, uh, how many trophies were caught, if a fish got off the hook, ground bait, how many times you broke your rod, how many times you snacked something, level up, food and crafting. And those will show all as well in chat. So that is how you can 
put it stuff on and off. By default, are these on, Gene? They are, right? Uh, by, by default, everything is on, yes. Yeah. Let me quickly grab the chat here for a second. So I can at least see what you guys are saying as well. And now on to this one. These are controls. So these are uh, the hotkeys. Uh, quick help is F1, screenshot F12. Uh, step forward, backward, left, right. Uh, up, down, left, right. And here WASD. <laughs> hey Jimmy. Uh, if you want to accelerate to speed things up, uh, goes for uh, casting out. Uh, if you want to cast that with extra strength, so to say, uh, goes for if you want to reel in at a extra high speed, if you want to uh, drive a boat um, extra fast. Main action, left mouse button, alternative uh, action, right mouse button. Uh, with lures, that's, uh, um, sorry, no, not with lures, with, uh, so for instance, you got yourself a snack, you can hit the right mouse button and attempt to... Uh, Get that out. Uh, flashlight. It says six. That should oh, yeah, these be are my F. settings. <laughs> no, those are uh, your settings. Ah, okay. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you can basically change or add anything you want except uh, the, the ones that are like grayed out. Okay, so, so basically the right. movement buttons and uh, the use, the interaction button. Uh, everything else you can change, you can adjust, whatever you make. Oh, you can you can have uh, two keys uh, for uh, any command here. Set. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, Eric, is there a plan for seeing other friends, uh, uh, for seeing friends or other players in game? Uh, we'll oh, come to yes. that in a. Oh. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Gene answers already. <laughs> and go ahead, Gene. Well, uh, yes, absolutely. We are uh, looking into uh, making that possible. Uh, but uh, as I said before, uh, whatever it is right now, uh, how other uh, developers did it, we don't like it. We, we're not happy with that and we're trying to figure out our own uh, system, build it up from scratch and once we, we, we are aiming at having that in the game. Uh, Ian asks um, Oh, good, because there is a user, he's calling himself Petra, who's writing on many places that he is actually translating the game, and I hope that it's not him, because he knows him from bad translations. Uh, I don't know who, who translates it, uh, Ian. I can well, say well, that... We definitely can't stop people translating wherever they want to translate, but... Uh, when we do something, we, we, we try, we always try to hire professionals to do that. And if there is someone translating uh, the game into Polish language, definitely we did not hire that person. Because we, as of right now, as I said before, it's been tra translated in only in German and only in English. Everything else will be uh, coming in later. Yeah, so in other words, if this uh, Petra is saying he's doing it in Polish, uh, he's actually a bit full of crap at the moment. Uh, what he might, he might almost on done mean? Yeah, yeah, that could be, indeed. What means almost done? Uh, Miguel, they're now about halfway with translation uh, English. It is going good. It is going good, but it takes actually a lot of time because they're not just translating what we are seeing in game at the moment but they're also tr um, translating all the stuff that is yet to come so uh, that is quite an immense task um, to give you a small example I translate Fishing Planet it took me a whole month to translate it and that game is not as big as Russian Fishing 4 is so uh, and that was just by myself so um, it takes a bit of time, buddy. It takes a bit of time. Okay, um, I think you guys could have seen the controls now. Shall we move on to the next screen? 
Uh, actually, the one. This one! I know you guys are really dying to see this one. Here, uh... The video settings. <laughs> you guys have been all over it. And I know. I, uh, I was struggling with it as well. So, these are video controls. You got display. Uh, full screen mode, you can swap it to uh, window mode, uh, screen resolution, uh, your field of view, uh, exposition and contrast. So for instance, when it's truly dark outside um, in night, excuse me, and you've got a hard time seeing, adjust the contrast a bit to uh, the left side and it will actually brighten up stuff a bit. And um, post the fact we've got Bloom and the aliasing. We've got V-Sync that you could put on and off. Graphics quality, you can put on custom settings. Um, oh, actually, Jean, can you tell which settings there are in graphics quality? Because you got six, if I'm correct. Six different types of graphics uh, settings. Uh, give me a moment. Okay, what do we have? Uh, Give me a second, uh -huh. I'll show the guys in... Uh, so, basically, basically off, off, on, on. Oh, wait, that's not where I am. <laughs> <laughs> if you look at the yes, stream, it should be uh, okay. um, showing this as well now. Let's... what is it? The starry sky, I guess. Let's start with that one. Uh, the, those two that would be on, off, and that's it. This one is where uh, you choose which uh, settings you like. Either your own as a custom, or whichever has their uh, that beautiful, uh, perfect, uh, good, simple. And That's very it. fast. I've now set it to this. Is this then the very fast setting? No, uh, no the no, one, one that I'm looking at no. in stream, uh, it, it's a uh, custom, custom setting. setting. The two words, Polzovetliska and Astroika. The very long yeah. ones, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, it's not showing me uh, the other one. Let's see. This is the ultimate low. Uh, B B L C T P. Yeah, I know I'm completely screwing up your language. Sorry about that. Yeah, yeah. it's uh, the fastest. So basically, everything is off. Uh, if you have a, well, let's say, budget computer, uh, this is the one that you choose right now. The most uh, fastest one. So it, it it turns off everything that. Uh, it eats up uh, your memory, your uh, performance. So basically, grass is off, wind is off, uh, uh, shadows off, everything is off. <laughs> but you can yeah, okay. run around and fish. Yeah, yeah. And then this one, what's this one? Uh, I'm wondering. Okay, this is a little bit better. So uh, you already have uh, grass. Uh, you have uh, better quality uh, water. Uh, you have uh, shadows are on. But once again, this is also a very low uh, quality. Well. Yeah. And then up to the next one. I so got to teach myself some Russian here. Yeah, because uh, I have to wait. Okay, this is yeah. uh, sim uh, simple. So, uh, uh, fog is off, uh, wind is off, and everything else is uh, in uh, uh, simple quality. Okay, good. These Moving are presets. Yeah. Well, but Eventually, you can uh, set your own uh, whatever you want. Each of these things, uh, if, if you go to custom settings, you, uh, 
This is good quality. Okay. But she, so this is good quality. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that starts yeah, with, with an X. X, <laughs> X is That's good quality. Good. <laughs> X is good, yeah. And then we've got this one. Uh, this is uh, basically perfect. Okay. Yeah. Just starts with an O. o. <laughs> yeah. The basically perfect is O. And then. Yeah, uh, yeah. This was beautiful. Yeah, and. Uh, that starts with the. Uh, no. There is no. Like. Almost, almost an N, right? Yeah. But very squarey. That's uh, beautiful. You really need to have a pretty good uh, machine to run this setting. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what my default settings are. Let me actually see video. I've set on on this customized then. Yeah, the last the one, one is uh, custom. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, 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 why can't I use it? Where is it? I lost it. Yeah, you have it and I don't. That's strange. <laughs> this is the custom, yes. That's where you can change uh, everything that's underneath it to your liking. So let's say. Yeah. say you don't want to deal with the with the fog. You can turn it off or have it uh, on a lower quality. Uh, same thing with the shadows and whatever else you want to change. It'll be easier pretty soon <laughs> once we have it in English and German. <laughs> uh, sleepy uh, German or English version of the game will be released both at the same time. No, uh, most likely German version will be released uh, a little bit sooner than English because the, 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 the team that translate German version is uh, bigger in terms of uh, how many people are working on it compared to English. Okay. Let's see you. <laughs> I show yeah. you guys forced me to there for a second. Um, I, so, I haven't um, seen a cassette in years. <laughs> you have that picture of a cassette? Yeah, I have a picture over here. Should be showing now. Okay. Yeah, this is basically uh, for people to understand what they actually can change. No. And we go, we'll answer that question in a couple of moments, mate. Um, so, the reason why um, earlier you guys saw my uh, settings, so these, and I've set these up um, by actually going manually into my uh, NVIDIA card and um, dedicate certain stuff on and off. That is how I uh, how I set up my settings here. Um, but you guys uh, can actually. Uh, I'll make sure after the stream tomorrow because um, I'm that tired. Tomorrow I'll post all of this online, guys, and I'll tweet the links and stuff like that. So you got nothing to worry about. Uh, you can look it up then for yourself and see that, for instance, uh, Starlit Skies and, and stuff like that. Or on uh, Fast. Oh, quickly uh, for that, see here in the game. Gee, what means um, on, off and fast? I think this means off, that, that BK something. Uh. There's a, a, some of them off, some of them on. Let's say the f uh, first one is on. And then one, two, three. Fourth one, which is fog, is off. Uh, Fourth one. This one is off. Okay. Yeah. 
Uh, what means fast? Uh, fast means uh, it, it's on, but at the lowest possible quality. So your computer uh, basically works through it faster. Yeah, <laughs> I don't yeah. know how to yeah. uh, explain it. But yeah, so uh, fast is uh, basically a lowest on setting. Okay. Uh, I can you see it in here somewhere on my screen? Uh, I got, no. no. <laughs> I got nothing on fast. <laughs> Let's see, can I adjust it? You have some on, some off, and uh, most of everything of a good quality. The one that starts with an X. <laughs> uh, this uh, OT, that was perfect. Right. OT is perfect, yes. Yeah. Yeah, right there. X was. Uh, you don't need. Good. To, you don't need to set that one to perfect. No, These, I'm uh, trying textures. to find the uh, Russian word for fast showing because uh, nothing here back, shows back. fast. That one. Nope. More back. Can't go any further. Yeah, this is fast, and the next one will be fastest. Okay, so the um, P B zero that is fastest, and then this one is just fast. That is mm -hmm. uh, good. Let me actually, because we were not done yet. Let's see, yeah, that one. Here we have get lost player information so you got the in-game days how many rods you broke broken reels how many fish you lost fish caught uh, trophies caught rare trophies caught oh, rare trophies is what you call them a uh, record catch for one day a uh, total weight for one day record catch spinning tackle record catch float tackle record catch record, uh, record cost uh, strongest contestant. So that is the the fish that gave you the biggest fight. Yes. Okay. Uh, the max XP and the biggest amount of silver. That is what you guys can see here. Uh, Lydia Games, what game engine does Russian Fishing Four use? Uh, it was Unity, if I'm still correct. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Unity. And over here we've got records and ratings. As you guys can see, you still need to do some work on uh, on the fish. Uh, but here you got the name of the fish, you got the mass, the amount of weight, uh, the water body that was caught on, type of lure, uh, which player, which date, and why are all the experience still on uh, zero, Gene? Uh, because these uh, screenshots are from the closed. Uh... Uh, testing server. No, you actually also have it on the live server. It also shows really? it. Really? Uh, yeah. Uh, probably something. Something is not there. Oh, I can hear myself again. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I can see it. It says zero. Well, I guess something isn't working correctly okay. yet. There are a lot of things that we need to fix, or work around. Yeah. Okay. Um, so that is what this shows. This uh, is actually uh, on what lake you are. And then underneath it, it shows the absolute record, so the all-time caught. And over here, it shows the weekly. And yeah, I, I don't think the weekly is on yet, is it? Um, I thought it was. Yeah, it is. It was off a couple of weeks ago, last time I checked. Oh! I it is. have not noticed it myself then. Okay yeah. guys, so uh, those are a couple of the screens that I could show you guys tonight. Now, English is uh, progressing. I think that you guys found these settings very useful. Switch back to game. 
That's some, uh, some... Um, let's see, the whole bunch of questions that I missed. Um... Mm -mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Shall we move on to uh, Miguel's question, Jean? What content uh, will well, come up next? If you wish. Oh, what, what was the saying? As lady wishes, right? Something like that. <laughs> As lady wishes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. Um, yes, we can indeed show you guys new content. Can indeed. Let me... Uh, stuff around again. Oh, I so need a third screen. <laughs> With two screens, it's really <laughs> hard already. <laughs> Uh, let's see. We've got work in progress, a new lake coming up. Can you tell us a bit about, uh, about, got two images for you guys. Can you tell us a bit about this one, uh, Gene? Well, first of all, it's not a lake, it's a river. Okay. Uh, it, it's a river from, uh, that, that uh, goes into, uh, uh, Volga River, mm -hmm. one of their tributaries. I think that's the right word. And there's, uh, it, it, it's a fun river to be in. <laughs> there's gonna be a few new species of yeah. fish. And the river is going to show you the fish as well uh, in a minute. Yeah, well, well, let's get there too. Yeah. Uh, we are showing at the moment only the sketch. Uh, but you know, we are a very secret organization. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, yeah, and we hope to have it also sometime uh, mid-September. And this is the old sketch. You hope that you can get access to the bridge? <laughs> That's what Sleepy says. Yeah, uh, <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> I was actually uh, running at that uh, river yesterday for the first time in a, on, a, on a closed uh, server. Oh, wow. Can you it's give beautiful. us the name of uh, of the map? The river? Uh, not yet, if you don't mind. Nope. I don't mind. <laughs> name and level? Well, Sorry, really. Not yet. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> not yet, not yet. But a few more weeks. I will release that information. Like I said, I can show you new species. And uh, actually, Jean, I noticed that um, I'm actually missing one species. Uh, I'm okay, missing the one? starlet. Okay, give me a second. Let me find it. So here, you guys, you can already see uh, sturgeon. Sturgeon is coming up. Uh, there are a total of four species that I can't show you guys. Yeah, sturgeon! <laughs> oh, the chair is going nuts. Yep. Wow, I have huge problems with my computer. Uh, you and missing starlet, starlet, right? Yeah, I'm missing starlet. A second, I'll send it over. There you go. Okay, cheers. Oh no, that is the starlet. Are these the sturgeons then? Yeah, no, no, my bad guys. Yeah, yeah. I got starlet. Got the starlet. Hey, I see myself. Yeah, they look so much <laughs> <laughs> the same. Yeah, that's true, that's true. So these are sturgeons. Yes. Um, the, the, and today the fish are on the same picture. Uh, uh, the, these are sturgeons. Yeah. And here we have the starlet. They look a bit similar. They are related to the same species, if I'm correct. Same type of family. Uh, yes. Family, yeah. And these, this one, you guys can go after as well. How big will they get? Sleepy asks. Hmm. You're gonna have to catch and find out. <laughs> That's a surprise that you guys will have to find on your own. Every year we have the big head carp. 
And in the Netherlands, I can tell you, these are pretty rare. They are pretty rare. Uh, Medic wonders what type of sturgeon it will be. I think it's just the, the European sturgeon. Is that correct? Mm, eventually, we'll have uh, uh, at least three types of sturgeons in a game. Which one this one is? Uh, honestly, I have no clue. Uh, the That's one that I'm... Not, not, yeah, the, 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 the one, uh, the, the picture that you have right now. That is a big ad carp. I no, can this tell you that. No, well, yeah, he, but he was asking about what type of uh, sturgeon. There are uh, oh. there are a few uh, sturgeons throughout the world. Uh, Russia, I believe, has at least three of them. Uh, there is also one here in U.S. in the Great Lakes. That I think it's called like uh, lake sturgeon or white sturgeon, something like that. Yeah, white sturgeon is uh, the one in the U.S. Yeah. Um, you are actually aiming for the big Donnerhausen. <laughs> um, I have no clue, Medic, what that is. Is that uh, related to the cop? These are indeed big fighters in the... Uh, at least they are in real life, so I imagine myself that they will be quite yes, a are. fighting yeah. game as well. Yes, they are. They're very powerful fish, and uh, actually in US, uh, they taking over some rivers and some lakes, and here they don't like them. <laughs> yeah, here in the Netherlands as well, they are a pretty invasive uh, uh, species. Yeah, that's right, that's what they call called, invasive species. Like every year people uh, get around and uh, use those electrical nets to uh, fish them out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, invasive in species Russia, are really sleepy. We like them, they taste good. <laughs> And last but not least, guys, here you, we have the rut. Rut will also be added. Uh, big hat and silver calves that don't really eat lures um, or baits. Right? What Mark Tom well, asks. Uh, I know <coughs> in the Netherlands, uh, here we catch them with uh, boilies, you catch them with maggots, you catch them with corn, stuff like that. It's, Hardly ever that you will catch it on a spinner or a spoon. They're not predatory fish. Hey, Antragon! So, and then this is uh, the fourth species that will be added. Very nice. I uh, think they're, size wise, they're a bit similar to uh, common roaches, are they not? Gene? Uh, they could grow bigger, and actually the picture that I'm looking at right now, oh, I'm not sure if you changed it or not, this is actually a trophy rod, the fat one, with little and the one that looks car pregnant. in the back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that, that's it. <laughs> yeah. You should have uh, a regular size uh, rod somewhere there, if you don't, let me know. Um, I think I do. I think I do. I uh, would need. Up. Lot. Second here. Yeah, I got it. Here we go. So this is a regular sized rut. Yeah, it's almost uh, medic, yes, yes. Be Beluga will be in the game, uh, but not uh, not with this uh, river. A little bit later on. Yeah. So these four new species will they be added in the new river, or can we find them on the other rivers as well? Or is that something for us to uh, find uh, out? On well, let's say list? they are, they are coming. Uh, first of all, uh, we'll have more than four new species uh, coming with that uh, add-on, with that yeah. uh, lake, uh, not lake, with that river. Uh, there'll be more than just four. These are, these ones are just uh, for show. Okay. Uh, how they'll be distributed, uh, we'll get to that a little bit later. Uh, 
Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Medic, I've been playing this game for, what, probably five years. I actually got my first achievement of uh, Broken Rod uh, a few days ago. <laughs> I don't know, guys, how you break your rods. <laughs> uh, for me, it was actually... Uh, I've broken my rod three times, and it was simply due to having, uh, I think, a fish. It was a, a fixed pool. And I think it was due to catching a fish that was simply too strong. And I tried to land him in and mm -hmm. um, just put too much stress on uh, on the rod. And I should gotcha. have broken the line earlier. Gotcha. Now, once again, I've been trying to do that for years. And I just achieved that a few days ago. <laughs> for the first time, I, bro I, I broke a rod. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's get back to here and you guys can ask some more questions to June. Yeah, yeah, okay. I guess if you don't mind, I'll take uh, about 30 to 40 second break. No, I don't mind at all. Yeah, yeah. All right. Be right back. Okay. And let's see if I can answer some of the questions. Uh, new rods. Oh, that is a good one. Uh, I assume Sleepy, yes, will get new rods. Um, actually, in the previous patch, we had um, new gear as well. Actually, drink a bit. You guys have been staring. <laughs> I realize now that you guys have been staring uh, at a pool doing nothing. Uh, I don't have a sneak peek of that one, uh, Sleepy. <laughs> I don't think uh, and Jean will uh, will do that. But we'll ask uh, in a moment. Uh, did you guys have any other questions? Uh, the chat for me, because you guys are so excited, I completely get it. Um, but I missed a whole bunch of questions. So for those of you that uh, ask questions that I've not answered or Gina has not answered yet, could you please ask it again? I'll just continue fishing here. Hey Marv! Welcome to the stream buddy, how are you doing? Okay, I'm back. Did I miss much? Mm, no, no. I asked uh, folks to re-ask their questions in case I missed it. Um, Sleepy is wondering if there will also be new gear, new rods. Uh, most with likely. These likely. Fish. Uh, Lily, do you know if the game menu will be will be translated too? Uh, Marv, I did not get your message, buddy, but I'm also really busy at the moment to reply to any other whispers, buddy. Uh, the game manual, you mean on the website, Perch? I think that one will uh, will be translated as well, if it's not already translated, the uh, guide? Uh, yes, absolutely, Perch. It will be in English and in German. Uh, and to the question above from a French random guy, there is a nice Russian fishing for a website, forum, why not other languages? It will be in, uh, for each community, for each uh, language based um, players. There will be a forum, there will be a website and social uh, networks, pages and everything. So. Uh, Everything is going to be accessible. Uh, all information that we have will be available. Which brings us to... Uh, another announcement, I guess. Right, lady? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it does. Uh, Naiko, thank you so much for joining, buddy. And for following uh, tonight. Uh, yeah. We got another announcement indeed. I'll let Gene have the honest on that one. 
uh, after very uh, a long deliberation yesterday with the lady uh, we had a long and very productive uh, conversation uh, we uh, uh, well basically yeah we would like to announce that lady uh, accepted our offer to become part of Russian fishing for uh, she joined our team and from now on she's our basically face uh, she's gonna be running well how how, how would I say who you are uh, press attache we <laughs> um, are yeah, uh, communication liaison something like that oh I like that too <laughs> <laughs> yeah so from now on I'll oh, be yes, the person yes. that is uh, in the the face behind Twitter face behind Facebook, face behind Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, everything. Yes, and we are very pleased that uh, Lady agreed to get on board with us. Yeah. So Lady getting the Achilles old job from Fishing Planet? No. <laughs> well, Achilles did. Achilles had live Q and A's, and he did some testing, and that was it. I am taking it to a whole nother level, mate. I will be dealing with the entire social media. Uh, of the English uh, branch. Yeah, in a pretty short time you'll be asking lady uh, to your streams, not me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks guys. Thanks for the congratulations. Yeah, the German, uh, my German colleague is in the Pennsylvania and walks right. Uh, I'm sorry, what? Oh, um, Let's see, who said that? Medic here. He said that for German, uh, the the folks that will deal with the German social media, that, that those are Pantoffel and Uh Probably. I do not run our German department. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah I will be so, uh, quite yeah. busy. But no worries, we'll still continue to do Q&As and all the current stuff. And I'll still uh, continue to stream, so uh, no worries. Uh, did you guys have any more questions? A uh, sleepy, yes, the baller rods. Well, it's not that the rods, there's a problem with the reels. Uh, it's a, it's in the process. Uh, we're working on them. Uh, we know that there is a problem with it. Uh, we're trying to figure out what uh, causes it. Once we'll f find it, it'll be fixed. Uh, Miguel, uh, German department, uh, runs uh, Dennis. He's uh, he's quite often on uh, pantoffles i believe streams yes yeah. yes indeed yeah but r right now he had an operation yesterday so he he's out for a couple of weeks he's in the hospital yeah, he's healthy everything's fine <laughs> but he's gonna be out for a little, uh, a little while and i'm showing you guys right now see that we got sight fishing look Fish right there, and here yeah, yeah. soon a fish will swim up to it. Stop messing with my bar. This is what I love on this lake. This is what I love so much that you can. Because the water is so clear. There you go. You have that one coming up. The water is so clear. You can just see the fish. The bait. It's awesome. I like it. Um, let's see. Uh, may I put a list of things, please? Uh, yes, Marv. Um, Sleepy, could you permit Marv? Um, a medic wonders, can it happen that a pike eats uh, my hooked fish when I fish for small fish? So what I'm currently doing, say that there's a fish on, uh, on my other rod, which actually is there at the moment. 
with their parts. It's not Im it, it, it's not implemented into the game yet, but uh, it will be a hundred percent that uh, pike or perch or uh, any predatory fish can go and attack uh, the fish that you call the small ones. Yes, it's not there yet, but it will be absolutely. And sleepy to your question, is there a plan for competitions or tournaments? Absolutely, uh, it's not planned, it's already, uh, uh, most of it is already uh, developed. Uh, it's just not in the game yet. Uh, we have to still polish our basic uh, uh, fishing process, right? Uh, once it's done, we'll start adding uh, New, new content on top of it, uh, teams, tournaments, uh, friends room, and everything else. Um, I love how, how people know who runs what. <laughs> Dennis runs Russian or German. Uh, Dennis runs German, yes. <laughs> Russian. Uh, uh, up until yesterday, I, I was the one running the Russian version, uh, and uh, we, I made a couple of changes in our personal, uh, moved people around uh, to get a, a little bit more time, as I explained yesterday to a lady, uh, t so I can move to, uh, towards English, and there are other people who's taking care of uh, Russian version. Yeah. Uh, Micro Tom is wondering if there is going to be multiple fish attracted by a bait or lure at the same time. Because now we just uh, see yes, one yes. fish swim up yes, and yes, not with multiple time fishes. Lines. I love that. <laughs> How it swims up. That's so awesome. And I've seen it happening with um, Pike uh, here as well on Perch. But you have to be very uh, close by. Let's see. Oh, my kid is throwing something. At me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Still wanna. Catch your bream on spinning tackle. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is actually a good question. Will we be able to hook or, or catch fish on either uh, float or spinning, which normally would not happen? Well, it's, it's if it's possible for fish, let's say carp, uh, actually. Carp sometimes do go for uh, smaller uh, lures if you let's say present it in front of them, especially uh, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, very, very, very late in the autumn, they can yeah. uh, attack a lure, it's either territorial or whatever it is. So, yes, you can catch a carp using lure. Uh, bream, I'm not so sure. <laughs> Well, in real life, you can hook them by accident. Um, it's Basically just snag it. Snag. Yeah, snag it. Indeed. And then nine times out of ten, you're, you've hooked it in the back. Um, I'm not sure if you guys want to take it that far, programming-wise. I'm not sure there is a need to do that, to be honest with you. Uh, yeah. Once again, moving forward, uh, th th there'll be a lot of fun stuff that you can do in game. Uh, besides these uh, crazy little things that actually, uh, you know, at the end, no one will appreciate. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see. When the English version comes out, will it have its own server, like for the American players? Uh, yes. Not, not right away, but yes, uh, we have plans uh, uh, to have uh, servers in uh, Europe and a couple of servers in US. And uh, basically, there, as of right now, uh, let's say each market will get its own uh, server, language market, something like that. Right? So depending on the 
which language you choose, that's where you're going to be playing. Microton wonders if there's going to be waves, and I will add to that visual water clues. Okay, with time uh, we will be making our lakes, rivers more live. There's going to be, uh, there will be, a, a, how do you say it? Animals. Those other fish jumping around uh, including waves uh, maybe one day uh, we'll take a boat into the ocean and fight those waves yeah and we'll also see for instance uh, currently pike is not jumping out of the water when you uh, when you're fighting it that will be added later on as well Absolutely. Sleepy asks, uh, can you tell us now what the lake, the cafes in the different lakes, rivers will be open or functional for? Or is it still top secret? Uh, no, it's not top secret at all. I, I do not have the answer as to when it will open. I'll leave that question for Jim, but I can tell you what they are for. Um, so basically what will happen is that a cafe, uh, you can get yourself an order from it and it will say catch, uh, say, uh, X amount of perch or catch a certain weight of fish. Uh, once you've done that and you brought your fish to the cafe, what will happen is you will sell the fish and it will be at a higher price than you sell it on the fish market. When they are going to open new? Uh, looking at G now. Oh, are you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, once again, once we finish with polishing uh, the, the process of fishing itself, the main uh, part of the game, uh, once we get rid of all these uh, uh, bugs, like let's say with uh, Balinese rods and, and reels, right? Uh, it's pretty soon. Uh, we're not gonna sit on it for a year or two. No, I'd, I'd say we'll start adding. Actually, we will start adding already new content uh, beginning September, uh, mid September, or October. And that is not the new lake that you're referring to, right? The one that we showed. Besides, we were the, be, be, besides, yeah, besides the new lake, yes. Uh, um, let's see, at the moment, yes, Medic, you can indeed catch a carp on a lure, um, but it is going to be hard. Near impossible, yes, but uh, there is an option that the carp can bite a lure. Are you guys satisfied with the accuracy of the aiming system, or is there are there any change, uh, changes planned? Mm, my guess is Perch isn't really satisfied. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, please guess don't forget well. about skill trees that you have to uh, put your points into. Uh, remember, I don't, I don't remember which one uh, last stream or stream before that that That's someone uh, was saying that it's pretty hard to cast with the uh, match rods. It is true, it's pretty hard to cast with match rods until you put, uh, I don't remember how many points there, like three or five points. Once you put those five points in, you can, you basically a sniper. And uh, of course, don't forget that you have to uh, check your tackle uh, for weight. Uh, your rods have tests, uh, let's say a rod uh, test is 10 to 30 grams. Make sure you stay within that window. That's including your your float, your hook, your bait. You 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 have to manage your your tackle uh, appropriately. If you if you have uh, enough points in in a skill tree, if you manage your tackle appropriately, you will cast uh, fine. 
Yeah, sometimes it will get into the wind. That will affect uh, where it will land. But uh, at the end, mo mostly it... Uh, uh, you're the one responsible for how well you cast. Sleep eventually, yes, you will get more votes, different votes for trolling and not only trolling. Ooh. <laughs> That's a surprise there, guys. Not just for trolling. <laughs> Want to fish with TNT? That is something, Miguel, that will not be included into the game. No TNT, buddy. What's what's the, what, what's fishing with TNT? It's fishing with explosives. Oh no! <laughs> no. no, no. We're a good no, guy. No machine guns. No uh, bombs. Uh, nuclear stuff. Uh, <laughs> nothing of that. No, no, no C four. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay, a uh, question that I have, Gene. Um, when I want to prep bait, uh, say I want to make brat balls, if I take this one quarter of brat, still got left, and I craft it, if it goes right, sometimes it goes amiss, but I hope it goes right. Uh, it doesn't do it now. To eat, so you can actually, oh, actually see it as well. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, in the last uh, patch we uh, lowered uh, the unsuccessful chance of uh, crafting. So it's, yeah. you, 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 should, you should be crafting more often than, um, yeah. than before. Alright, so yeah, your question is that you can make yeah. 30... I, uh, I can make in the 30 and um, I increase my skill to 21.4 uh, so that is why I'm now getting 31. So this was with just a quarter loaf of bread. If I take a full bread, full loaf of bread, I get the exact same amount. Why yes. is there uh, why is there not a difference? And that goes, by the way, also for, for instance, if I want to uh, craft uh, um, spiced wine, uh, oh, herb spiced wine or glue wine, I'm not sure what the, the correct translation for it is. If I take half a bottle of wine, I still get um, three out of three. And if I take a full bottle, bottle of wine, I also get three out of three. Yeah, that's a little... I'm still trying to find that the word to uh, describe it how we uh, approach it. It's a little gamey type of, uh, you know, uh, approach like, okay, you can eat three times from from the piece of bread and uh, use the, the quarter to, to make your uh, bait, or you can use mm -hmm. the whole loaf and once again make the same 30, yeah. We yeah, don't that seemed a bit of a problem. It might be, in like logically speaking. Yeah. But not everything is logic based <laughs> in game <laughs> unless you're talking about code. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, is there in the future an option to have different trolling speeds? It's what Goff Min uh, Minnesota asks. Absolutely. In the future. <laughs> yeah, there's gonna be a lot more things. Uh, we'll start uh, pouring them out pretty soon. Okay. Good. Marv says uh, he can make cut bait, but when he puts it on its bobber, the bobber sinks. Why is that? Uh, because the bait weighs uh, more than a bobber. Bait plus hook plus weight. Uh, you have to purchase a bigger bobber. Bobbers have a, a weight on it. It's test. It's either three grams, four grams, five grams, nine grams. Uh, make sure that uh, once again you have to manage your tackle. Make sure that uh, bait plus hook plus uh, weight doesn't overweight the bobber. Yeah. So here, for instance, I've got a Siberia long shot, five point five gram. 
um, if I were to put, say, 10 gram of meat on it, uh, it would definitely It'll sink. sink. Absolutely. Uh, so no, cup bait is not, not just for feeders. You can put it on a bobber, but you need the big bobbers. Oh, yeah, that is indeed a uh, question. Uh, previous Q and A, we asked why match rods were unlocked at only uh, or at uh, sixty percent, and you then said June that you would have to get back in touch with us uh, with that one. Uh, do you have the answer to that question now? Why it unlocks uh, only with float having it on sixty percent and not earlier? You know what, now I remember, but I completely forgot. <laughs> I do apologize for that. Uh, well, basically, uh, our game designer, right, the architect of the game, uh, he uh, looks at uh, rods as tools. First, you start learning, let's say, working with with the knife, with the screwdriver, with the pliers. Then you move towards uh, more complex uh, machines then you start already like w w with, with experience you keep on moving to higher and higher level of uh, tools performance uh, level so uh, in our game uh, match rods are a higher level performance tool compared to let's say uh, telescopic rods so that's why they'll they are opening up later in players pro progress through the game I hope you understand what I just said yeah yeah did you guys get it as well this chat with um uh, Miguel, no mate, this is not going to be a killing game. This is not going to be like a, a Russian type of anarchy. <laughs> no. You can't kill other players and steal their fish. Unless you know where the player lives. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, see, that is Microtom. Uh, are there going to be different camera views? Like one where we can see our entire body. Uh, and if so, are we going to be able to fish in our underwear? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, not to that extent, but yes, we are working on uh, having a multiple uh, uh, views from a player. So uh, we, we, we're not satisfied completely the way we are looking at it right now. So basically our eyes is uh, attached to the rod. Yeah, uh, we're not satisfied with that. Uh, we'll be uh, moving away from it, so you can keep the rod in one place and actually move your head around, look left, look right, up and down. Yeah, what I'm not pleased with myself is when I look down. <laughs> it's at the clothing and the bumpy trousers. <laughs> but that's me being a female player and I'm like, hell no, that's not how I want to look like fishing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I remember I promised you a dress. <laughs> no, not, not a dress, but a sweater would be nice. I hate dresses. I never wear dresses, so no dresses for me, no oh, high oh. heels, but a sweater and sneakers, <laughs> that would be uh, nice. <laughs> Miguel for president. <laughs> um, let's see. Is the energy bar, the one with the lightning, currently impacted by anything? It does not seem to ever move, or am I just noticing it? Uh, Kalo, the energy bar is definitely being affected. Uh, weather? If I would do some... Uh, uh, hang on, I can show you. If I am having this, and I start to dig for worms. Right here, my energy is going to deplete. Do it a couple of times. And to raise it up, uh, you'll need to drink, uh, I think, what, coffee or tea? Or uh, monkey cola? 
And this uh, indeed will lower your chance in landing a big fish and in casting out further. You can see it, my bar is moving down. There you go, now I'm in the uh, yellow. There are a number of, of effects uh, that uh, works with damage bars. Uh, first of all, weight of your tackle that you're fishing with. Uh, the <clears throat> Heavier the tackle, heavier the rod, reel, and whatever you're using, uh, it will deplete your energy level uh, faster. So uh, you don't see any effects because probably you're just uh, starting in the game, you're using light uh, rods. You don't uh, fight a bigger fish. Let's say once you start fighting uh, salmons. 20 30 kilograms in weight, uh, catfish 60 70 kilograms. You'll definitely see how it just disappears on you, and it will affect uh, your uh, ability to land fish. No. Yeah. Uh, talking about energy is what French random uh, guy asks. Is there a way to have it at full hundred percent? Absolutely. Sit near the fire, eat and drink coffee. And don't fight the fish. <laughs> <laughs> and it'll be at a hundred percent. Um will there be an increase for experience with feeder rods? Is what medic one does as well. Mm, not at the moment, unless we see that it's needed and we don't see it uh, right now. Uh, if, if you're aiming at uh, gaining experience, you should probably switch to uh, floating rods, float rods. Uh, if you're aiming at uh, earning faster uh, silver, then uh, you go with the uh, feeder rods. Yeah. Yeah, there's a bit of a difference uh, indeed between feeder, uh, float, and uh, spinning. Uh, spinning currently, if I'm correct in saying that, is a bit of the underdog at the moment. Uh, well, spinning fishing, same as in life, it's uh, probably more of a hobby. Uh, something that we do for pleasure, right? Well, that's any fishing, but if, if, if we put uh, differences between uh, feeder and uh, barber fishing and spinning fishing, spinning fishing always um, costs more. It uh, asks from you more physically, and uh, spinning fishing is not for gaining anything except. Uh, uh, achieving some type of a goal for yourself. Yeah, like we I said in a previous stream, I know that not all, particularly the the, uh, <laughs> the uh, American folks will like it. I myself, I'm I, I love spin fishing. Um, but who knows? Maybe in the future we'll get. I love it. Too. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That's the only yeah. way I fish for past probably 15 years or so. Yeah. Um, Musley, uh, guys, I know the questions are stacking up. Uh, I got a question here from Musley. Uh, Hi, please. Uh, please explain why ground fishing gives less experience than gloat fishing. It makes no sense to him. Float fishing, I think he say. Why, why there's a difference between feeder and float fishing. Uh, like Jean just said, for feeder fishing you need to put more effort and time into it. Um, yeah, but that, that will mean it's upside down. He wonders why float, um, no, feeder fishing gives you less experience than float fishing. Uh, you, because you, uh, feeder you, fishing uh, gives you uh, more silver than float fishing. So it kind of balances itself out. Let's say you want uh, your goal is to make uh, a bank, right? To 
collect silver as, as fast as possible. You go and you use uh, uh, feeder fishing, right? The feeder rods. Yeah. It'll uh, you'll catch fish faster. You don't have to wait until a fish bites. Like uh, whenever you fish with the floats, you actually have to sometimes look at that damn float jumping around for five minutes. Yeah, yeah, that you doesn't, do. That doesn't happen on on, uh, on uh, feeder uh, rods. It comes, it bites, it goes. You get it. Plus, don't forget that while you um, feeder fish, you can do a lot of different stuff. You don't need to uh, chase your rods constantly, juggle them because one rod is uh, th there is a bobber jumping around, and the other rod there is a bobber goes down. You can actually do stuff and not worry that fish is gonna get off the hook once it it it, it bit the the bait. So, in that perspective, uh, feeder uh, fishing brings you more money. If you that's what you're after. If you want to uh, level up through the game, you move towards um, float fishing. Uh, float fishing. Yeah, thank you. Uh, will it be possible to see myself on the map? You mean a concrete uh, position? So if I look at the map, will there be a red dot somewhere, for instance, stating where I'm exactly at? Yeah. Yes, we spoke about it, uh, I believe, our uh, first yeah, stream. Uh, the whole concept of uh, navigation will be uh, reworked. Uh, it there's, uh, it, there will be uh, tools, uh, there will be d d different ways to navigate through the game to see where you are, what you're doing, where you're doing it, and stuff like that. So basically right now what we use as a map is just basic, basic, basic way for players to understand where they are or where they need to go. It, we just had to put it there to let you guys walk around and understand where you are everything yeah. else will come a little bit later yeah <coughs> um jimmy wonders oh, have geez, there geez. been any attempts sorry um have there been any attempts to cheat or hack in the game what we know of and are there things in place to stop them i would say that is part of basic coding mate that you indeed try to uh stop folks that Want to cheat? Want to hack the system? I'm sure there are attempts every day to do that, but uh, listen, in today's world, you can't get away from it. There are good people who just want to come and have fun, and then there's other people who want to get something else, right? Yeah. Uh, we constantly monitoring, we constantly working on improving, but as once again, as I said, in today's world, uh, we can't predict stuff from happening. We can only react. Because people keep coming up with new, new ways uh, to infiltrate, uh, to infiltrate one or another stru structure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, where am I about hygiene? Uh, not so serious question. Could you please go to Fort Lake and find the pike and carp that took my lure and hook and line and went on vacation and brought with it? <laughs> no, Muppet. Sorry, buddy. You lost it for good. Got to buy yourself a new one. Um, let's see. We answered that question. Uh, Baya. Uh, I'll translate it quickly and... Uh, also, answer your question. Uh, Baya asks in Dutch what type of uh, corves are there being used for feeder? The regular ones and the method feeders. That is what we're currently uh, using. And uh, the rocket. And the rocket you put boilies. Uh, those are the um, things that we are currently using. I can't show you right now because I'm not at the store. But it is, uh, it is there. Um, if you buy if you look at my videos on uh, YouTube, it will actually show you, uh, show it to you. And you can have a look over there. 
Um, let's see. Miguel finds the fish activity in the last couple of days to be really low. Um, Miguel, um, I don't think that there's been done any tweaking. What I can tell you is that fish is migrating. So if you're not getting any bites on a specific spot, you need to uh, to swap spots or you need to try a different bait or try a different uh, leader length, stuff like that. As you can see, I've got uh, activity. Uh, obviously, can't speak for you, buddy, but um, it helps to move around. Whenever I find that I'm not getting any baits uh, in, uh, say, f five minutes, I swap places. Ah, uh, he got. Uh, Kalil asks. He believes that he rat. In the user guide, that certain rods will have special right mouse button actions. Is that correct, or did he interpret it wrong? Uh, certain uh, tackle sets. So let's say if you put a jerk bait on it, uh, your uh, right button mouse will uh, twitch the jerk. So yes, uh, right mouse button is an works as an extra action depending on uh, what type of uh, fishing you're doing what type of tackle you're using absolutely he's absolutely right yeah. see can you cut the line when the fish is on yes perch you can i have tried it myself and it works. Uh, it does take some time before you cut the line. So if you see that Sometime you're... Sometimes you actually yeah. should do that. Yeah, indeed. Um, but you need to make a decision fast because before you know it, before the time's <laughs> up, it could actually have snapped your rod into two. That's what happened uh, with me. It all depends on how you set it up. Yeah. Um, Sleepy, what's the word on being able to give premium members to in-game friends? Once English is out there and live, I will ask you guys to spam the heck out of it and request it on the forums, guys. And then we can give an incentive to uh, Russian fishing. You please, please, please make it available for us to uh, gift premium to uh, our in-game buddies. It's something that is it, uh, is being considered, option, and Gene option, is a big option. fan of it, it as it, well. It, it, it's not even being considered; it, it's in development already. Ah, oh, good. So we make progression <laughs> there, guys. <laughs> there Absolutely. you go. There you go. Yeah, it it, it will uh, it will arrive in time. When it does, I'll make sure to uh, announce the heck out of it. Plus, to that, we'll be uh, we'll introduce a one day premium. Right now, uh, the minimum time you can buy is seven days. Uh, but we do understand that some people might have time on, let's say, on, uh, play on weekends. So uh, we wouldn't want them to buy a seven-day premium that they can't use. We'll introduce one- and three-day premiums also. But all of that is uh, after we fix all the bugs and all these uh, uncomfortable situations that we are still getting in the game. That's yeah, our priority right now. Yeah, the priority currently, guys, is, is uh, to have all the basics of the game work properly without any bugs. Uh, and then we'll uh, end adding uh, new species and, and uh, maps and stuff like that. Get the groundwork done, make sure the entire basis of the game is done properly, and then work on adding other features uh, in, the, in the game. Yeah, building a game is uh, not nothing different from building a building. First you have to have yeah, a strong sure. foundation. Exactly. Once it's done, you can put anything you want uh, on top of it. And that's how we approach it. Yeah. We're not in a rush. I know, guys, you are being very patient with us. And thank you for that. But rather take our time and make it good instead of just throwing something and run away with the bag of money. <laughs> <laughs>
No pun intended. <laughs> Let's see. I know your friend that you introduced me to uh, yesterday, day before yesterday. Ketchy, the Lakaba. Ketchy, yes. Yeah. He, used he used to. to... Uh, apparently, I I went through a couple of his videos and uh, he mentioned that he's been playing Russian Fishing Three for some time already. Uh, he played it indeed uh, a little while, but. Um... I was Ooh. surprised. <laughs> try and recall the conversation that I had with him about it. He he has indeed played it. Um, he played it for a while and he loved he it, but good, it was the graphics good, back good back then. To say. Yes, absolutely. That game was developed uh, what like twelve years ago. Yeah. So when well, when we made that one, uh, we didn't have options to do what we can do now but uh my, my point is why why I, uh, uh i mentioned that that uh if you talk to him you'll uh he'll tell you that how deep our game is the older version the russian fishing 3 and uh that's exactly what we will have here in russian fishing 4 actually more because right now we have uh, the ability given to us for the past 10 years with, uh, with technology with with everything uh, it, it gives us way more options yeah technology nowadays uh, it's it's insane comparison to <laughs> technology goes so fast guys it's unbelievable uh, and it goes with for programming and coding games as well, so yeah. If you, if you only get a single bag of money and run away with it, I think you got paid too little. I absolutely <laughs> agree with you. <laughs> <laughs> but once again, to us, it's fun doing what we're doing. Yes, uh, making a living off of it makes double fun it's, it's pretty hard to find uh, work that you enjoy and that pays your bills and we are fortunate in this department yeah with Russian fishing uh, micro Tom there is constant improvement going on on frame rate and optimization of the game and that will be an ongoing process uh, as more things are being added to it optimization is something that good programming <laughs> because there's bad programming as well but good programming like what Gene said about programming is like building a house if you have the foundation wrong your house will collapse and if you add stuff on it you need to make sure that the stuff that you add on it is also just so um, Basically, there's say uh, two types of programming. One is where folks, uh, where programmers first build everything and then start optimizing, which, in my personal opinion, is not the correct way of programming because you'll end up building on a flawed basis. Uh, and then there's the program time, like uh, what Gene just described as well, as in uh, make sure that your basis is good and then start building uh, from that. And that indeed means uh, optimization, uh, frame rate, etc. Uh, to a certain extent, uh, it the game, they, they cannot deliver us uh, the game at its best uh, when you got a very low setup computer. Um, there's a minimum that you need to work from. Uh, so you can keeping the, the uh, parallel with, with building, if you decide to build your bases out of straw instead of out of wood, uh, then obviously uh, the straw house would be uh, cheaper and it would be uh, better maintainable at first, but it will also collapse earlier. If you build it out of wood, obviously um, you can't... Uh, ooh. <laughs> parallel goes a bit flawed, but th there's there, a certain th th standard. There is a kid's story about three piglets 
uh, who was who, who were building. Uh, I'm not sure if it's uh, popular in whatever you are, uh, but uh, when I was growing up, that was a uh, a good lesson. Uh, there were three piglets uh, facing winter. Uh, one of them built their his house out of uh, straws. The other built his house out of uh, wooden uh, lugs, and the other one built his house out of uh, brick. Now, uh, what do you think they all lived through the winter? Yeah. <laughs> Which house? <laughs> so, same principle goes here. We're not in a rush, once again, to make a, our millions. <laughs> <laughs> we, we we really want to make sure that we have concrete foundation that we can build on for years, that we all can enjoy it and have it developed into someday maybe something way bigger than we can even imagine right now. Yeah. Yeah, yep, catchy yep. is indeed big, great big, fan. Big, wolf. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I knew the story indeed also, but then with the wolf indeed, trying to eat the piglets. And the one that built his house out of uh, uh, bricks, he, I just, I, he was the one I that survived. just the story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Sleepy, uh, in reference to repair costs, uh, we've been through that a few times and um, I understand we don't have enough information uh, in English or in German or whichever language you, you do understand. Uh, once again, you don't need to repair everything, uh, not every part of your rod or each part of the uh, reel. Uh, when it comes to reels, all you have to do is oil it as often as possible so let's say you're about to go fishing uh, put your uh, reel into the uh, into the shop and oil it it's gonna take a couple of game hours from you but you can maybe I don't know make something craft something while that uh, so basically you, you when it comes to reels you have to tend to oiling it and fixing the mechanism not everything in real because not everything in reels can be fixed the price goes up uh, because uh, things like brakes they cannot be fixed they need to be uh, exchanged replaced replaced yes thank you uh, that's why the price goes up uh, not to uh, replace them so often, all you have to do is upkeep your reels uh, once again. Oil it as, as often as you can and keep your mechanism in check. Let your reel work for you. Let it, let it go down to 20, 30 percent. It's fine. It's... I'll make it sure down. to uh, update my tutorial video on that one. I've got to do that. But well, uh... Uh, we have that uh, player's guide, which is in Russian right now. Actually, probably I'll move it uh, higher into priorities for translation. Uh, maybe I'll ask our guys to translate it first, so we'll have it already. Uh, it explains a lot, gives a lot of information. Um, and uh, I guess from now on, it'll... You, you'll take care of this stuff to make sure that our players get the info first, right? Yeah, on time. yeah I do. <laughs> yeah. I'll get it up for you, so you'll have it and distribute it. Yeah, yeah I will. Um, uh, Gaggy Senen, sorry if I mispronounce your name, uh, Gag. He wonders if uh, feeder rods could have a colored peak or a glowing peak. We will have that. Uh, these are, uh, d uh, as far as I understand, I'm not, I'm not very good personally with feeder rods, but as far as I understand, they're 
rods that yes uh, have uh, different colors sometimes they are made of other materials uh, it'll all be in the game in the future let's put it this way um, every possible technique every possible uh, tool that we as uh, fishermen use in the real world will be introduced into Russian fishing. Hey, uh, lady, are you here? Am I here? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm here. still here. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was just uh, looking over to chat to see if we got any for new questions. Let's see uh, time as well. Um. Ah, oh, you shouldn't have said that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I was like, oh no, I should not have seen that as well. <laughs> um, French random guy, he has noticed that when there's a big wind, the clouds don't follow. So if the wind comes out of the north, but the clouds will go into uh, the east direction, is that a bug? Um, if we would be making a weather forecast simulator this would probably be a bug <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, you know wind on the ground and moving out of skies doesn't really need to be uh, doesn't have to be instinct thing right Call myself even in trophy. real life eh, highly doubt that Nice, nice. <laughs> oh, you did! Awesome. Yeah. That's that's these tw tw twenty second delays <laughs> between <laughs> what I hear from you and then from what I yeah see and what you here. see. Yeah, that's with. That's um, a nice roach. Yeah, definitely one point two. I'm not sure if it's my biggest one, but because uh, I caught a previous uh, big roach as well, uh, a big trophy one. <laughs> Hex. No, it's not a hack, Vic. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> um, Kalel wonders. He says, stupid question. There are no stupid questions, Kalel. Uh, can you catch the same fish twice? Um, well, if, if you're keeping it, no. Can't. If you release it, I do not know. Do you? If, say, I were to uh, release that trophy fish that I just caught, will I be able to catch it again? Or will it be a different generated fish? Uh, no. If you catch it already, if you have it basically in your hands, uh, even if you release it, you can't catch it. But uh, if, let's say, a, a pike uh, strikes your lure, and while you're uh, retrieving it, it goes off, there is a couple of minutes in which uh, it can get back to your lure and basically chase it down and hit again. Yeah. Yeah, so when when he's actually on the hook, no, uh, and you landed it, he's in your hands, you can't, no, no. but when, if he's when chasing you landed your lure... It, it's out. Yeah. If you landed it, no. If he's on a hook, but gets off the hook he can go after the lure again if he's still in the water yeah um sleepy wonders are there any tips that you can give us for when trolling on a boat um tips i would probably f first tip is probably be uh make sure uh, you understand the, uh, the weight of the lures you're trolling with. The lighter the lure, uh, the heavier is gonna, uh, the higher is gonna travel in the water column. If you look, if you're trolling for something that leaves, uh, let's say, feeds uh, somewhere down, you'll have to use a heavier lure. At least this is how it is right now because we only have basically one speed of trolling, right? 
Yeah. That would probably be my first and most uh, important tip. <laughs> <laughs> now, don't just throw things into the water. Uh, think what you want to do with them. And adding to that, uh, a tip that I like to give you guys is um, make sure that you set the drag on uh, uh, on your rod really low, like set it to 3 or to 4. Uh, that way, the moment there's a fish on, you can actually hear that there's yeah, a yeah, fish on. Yeah, that, that helps also, absolutely. Yeah, that helps a lot. Uh, Great, Liddy, uh, if you don't mind, uh, uh, let's take a few more questions and I'm gonna run. Yeah, yeah. Okay, guys, we're gonna do three more questions and then uh, that will be it for tonight. So, the first three ones. Oh, something that you still need to have an answer to. Oh, they don't right. want me to go. That's why they're not <laughs> yeah. asking anything. <laughs> <laughs> I would do the same, I would shut up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's talk about that Game of Thrones uh, <laughs> episode. Oh yeah, yeah, I would love to do that, but I promise the guys here I would not give any spoilers away. Ah, uh, got it, got it, got it. Yeah, you're right. Okay, purchase here with the first uh, question. Why is the prices in the shops different when you buy silver than when you buy gold? Some calculations and buying with silver it is cheaper. Oh, you're putting two questions into one perch. Because <laughs> he goes on. Another question. I bought a reel of gold. Now it seems I can only repair the brake with gold. Why is that? Uh, that That is... Uh, l let's start from, from, from the bottom of it. Uh, perch, no. Uh, it's probably just this water body where you are. Uh, try moving around uh, to other water bodies. There's nothing absolutely only for gold in game. It will never be. Uh, maybe there is uh, a sh basically shortage of uh, materials. Uh, so today you can't fix it with silver, tomorrow you will. Or once again, uh, first of all, check all the shops on other lakes, other rivers. Uh, one where you are right now may not have, uh, let's say, uh, materials. For silver, uh, he's asking you for gold, but if you move to another uh, water body, they'll most likely will fix it uh, for silver. There's up, there's absolutely no, uh, <clears throat> how do you, no attachment uh, between if you bought it with gold or silver. It's either they can't do it right now for silver or they can't, cannot. Uh, yeah. If they cannot do it right now, they'll most likely will be able to do that within a short period of time. Uh, in terms of prices, uh, uh, it's running away. I'm trying to get back to that question. In terms of prices, what is is why is there prices and shop different when you buy with silver than gold? I think he refers to the ratio. So when I want to uh, swap one gold, I get 100 silver. Yet when I go to the store, I can purchase a reel for either one gold or uh, for, say, uh, 67 silver. It seems off. Uh, it doesn't need to be an exact science. Uh, whenever you're trying to get something right away it'll always be uh, more expensive than when you put your time into it research in, in let's say in in game uh, fishing right accumulating that sum it's harder so easier way is sh should be always more expensive than the harder way right yeah. Just don't, right, don't guys think are, about it. <laughs> <laughs> right, keep adding questions wanna, to it, guys. You, we'll you, you want to buy everything right now? Yes, it's going to be more expensive. Instead of earning it. 
Oké. Okay. Uh, medic for trolling it should not indeed matter uh, how far you throw it. Uh, how uh, how no, far you throw uh, your lure? Yeah, of course it does. Uh, on how also uh, if you trolling and you uh, cast it further fr from you, it'll uh, go uh, deeper. Your lure will be able to set itself deeper in the water column. Then let's say if you just threw it 20 meters away from from your boat, compared to let's say 100 meters from your boat. Yeah. If that lure is able to go that deep. Damn, I love looking at those fishes coming up to your hooks. I too. I do too. Yeah. That's <laughs> awesome. Um, let's see. I wonder why I wonders what the crystal beads are for. I'm sorry, what was it The again? crystal beads, uh, what they are for. You can purchase them at the um, general store, where you also purchase uh, the bobbits and stuff. It's on uh, yes, the page uh, with the uh, landing they app. Are, they are for crafting, uh, for part of crafting that is not in the game yet. And let's see... Uh, Medic, that question has already been uh, been answered. Uh, about give me a second, there is her winter is asking yeah. something. The official German forum bans every person who's claiming mistakes. Really bad management and behavior by them. Uh, her winter, there is no official German forum yet. There is a fan forum that we support, and. You probably should uh, abide by their rules, read them, get to know them. We are not responsible for what goes on on that forum. Let's see. The uh, yeah, Eric, indeed. I'll I'll ask uh, Eric's, Eric's question as the final. Uh, um, medic, that question um, that will be available, but if it's currently in the store just for gold, it means that it's sold out. Um, when the shop restocks, you will be able to purchase it for silver again. Um, her, I'll pass it for to Jean. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll look into it, buddy. Uh, and then, uh, the last question, that one was from Eric, and then I am going to, uh, to close it off, guys. Last question, uh, Eric wondered about, uh, cars and tents, what they are for. Uh, because you, you do see an, an interaction button, but it's not doing anything. I know that we already covered this question in an earlier Q&A. Um, but, so... Um, so probably you should be the one to answer it. Yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I do, I do. Um, those are small teasers of what is yet to come. It means that in the future you will be able to interact with it. So the tents, for instance, uh, some of the cars, uh, the motorcycle, uh, there's a big wood uh, logging camp at uh, Winding River, the uh, third body of water. Um, those are all features that are yet to come. To uh, come, and uh, same with the cafe, for instance. Um, those are small hints and teases to uh, what what we uh, yeah, like I said, what what will be released in the future. So that is um, uh, what they are though, apart from the cafe, what we just said, um, will not reveal yet. Uh, I do not know the answer and Jean is not going to spill the beans on that one. We'll have to, uh, <laughs> to wait and see. Next time we'll have more surprises, I'm sure. I'm sure we'll, we'll have some. Yeah. Some yeah. interesting yeah. things <coughs> Most to show and discuss. Absolutely. All right, lady, thank you. 
for having yeah. me. Uh, guys, thank you for your questions. Uh, I'm sorry we couldn't answer all of them, but uh, once again, it's not our last time. And uh, given the, today's announcement, I'm more than sure that the lady uh, starting now will have way more information that, uh, than before that she can sh she'll be able to share with you. Yeah. So have fun, guys. Thank you for playing. And thank you so much, uh, Jim, for uh, stopping by again and for taking almost two hours again <laughs> and answering uh, all these questions. Um, My pleasure, pleasure. Likewise. Okay, guys, we'll, uh, I will continue the stream, but we are going to say uh, goodbye to Jim for now. There he went. And um, thank you all for uh, asking questions. And no worries, there will be another Q&A in... Two weeks from now, if not, then in three weeks from now. So, um, and we'll announce date and uh, and exact time later on. Um, let's see, are there any questions that I maybe I still have an answer to? Quickly check over here. Uh, Muzzly, your question about uh, why there's no way to see how much line is left on a reel. There are some reels actually that will indicate how much line there is left. But uh, on the rest it's not. And that just has to do with uh, real life as well. Um, if you're fishing with uh, just a simple uh, uh, spinner, uh, with, with a simple reel, it will not indicate how much line you still got left. Uh, you will just have to look at it. And and sort of guess yourself how much line uh, there is uh, there is left. It will not give you a warning or or anything. And that is uh, is the thing here with, uh, with Russian fishing uh, four as well. Currently there is already one or two reels out there, uh, bait casting reels that will give you a uh, uh, an indication, but uh, there is not uh, anything else. It ejects her. Um, was there anything important that was announced today? Well, buddy, you missed the entire stream then. <laughs> uh, yes, uh, there's a new waterway coming up, a river. Uh, four new fish species that we revealed tonight. There are more to come, but the four that we revealed tonight are the rut. Uh, it's the sturgeon, starlet, and uh, big cat carp. Um... So yeah, and um, in also announced Joxa that uh, I am, as of yesterday, our official partner, or uh, not partner of Russian Fishing 4, I'm actually going to be a colleague of G now. Uh, I'll be handling the entire social media and, and forums when English comes out. Um, and that is to be between end of August and end of September, more likely towards end of You're a real life fisherman and when you look at your stationary reel you will officially notice when I say 100 plus meter line is gone. There's no indicator when looking at the reel. You didn't understand my question. Yeah, you can indeed just look at your reel and, and see how much, uh, if, if it's uh, like unwinded like half of your line or not, but um, that, that, just it. Nothing, uh... Uh, apart from two reels, like a set, mostly, um, that there's uh, currently in nothing in game uh, that will give you an indication as to how much line is gone. Uh, later on, there will be more reels added that will have that similar uh, similar version. Why is it giving? Beep. Let's see. Put that one off. Yeah. Okay, guys. So, I will stop the uh, taping from here and we'll just continue to 